am going to move up item number 55 before we get to call to the public so we can get that business taken care of. Chairman Lingenfelter. Mr. Rangus. Um, we're talking about item A. Correct? Item 55A. Okay. Um, I make a motion that we approve the reconsideration of item 53 from the April 3rd, 2023 Board of Supervisors meeting. Second. You've heard that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? No. <clears throat> As appear to have it, do have it, so ordered. Now we'll move into the call to the public. Crystal Truby. Hi, good morning. Crystal Truby. Um, so I would like to address some information that you might find of interest. The Mojave County Zoning Ordinance, Section 25, page 59, regarding special development or SD zone. Ma'am, we, we just handled that item, um, so I'm not going to take public comment on it. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. On, on... Okay, I found more information on documentation written and distributed by the developers of the Lakebound Project. Um, yeah. If you don't allow us to speak, then I'm just going to put it all over social media. So uh, you can either address it and let us speak when we've driven all this time to come here. I appreciate you revoting, but either way, the information is going to get out. So Behind me, a filled room. They brought themselves down here to speak. It's shameful. So it can either get out properly or it can get out in other ways, and it will. Ma'am, I'm not trying to stifle the information you're sharing. What I'm saying is the, the, the thing that we just did was a process thing, and we've set a public hearing for June 5th, 2023. That would be the appropriate venue for but you the to call. Come. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Call to public allows people to talk. That's what this is about. Call to the public allows people to talk on things I that are not I have listened to people talk about things that are completely crazy. And I've sat here patiently and I've driven hours. I've spent money. It's an embarrassment to the country and it is a stain on this institution. And you should be ashamed of yourselves, but you won't be. None of these people want to be here. But they are, and they're not here for themselves. They're here to continue fighting for what's right. I've taken time away from my work, time away from my family, and I have information to give. If you don't let me speak, I'm going to post it all over social media. I, I understand what you're telling me. Let me ask one question. County attorney, as I understand the law... We We don't allow people to talk, uh, call the public on items that are on the agenda. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. And, and what I'm saying is the thing that we just voted on sets a new public hearing for June 5th, 2023, where we open up the public hearing. We're going to have three calls to speak. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. information to give you that's going to maybe help you 
before to prepare for June 5th? Because I don't know if you've been given some of this information. Because if you have, then you've been misleading us. So Because if you have, then you've been misleading us. So I want to present what I've found, and I have every right to speak. Look. I'm, I'm not going to answer the questions to you, okay? I represent okay, and advise sure, the board, absolutely. so I make sure yeah. that I talk to my board, okay? Right. So there's nothing in the law that says that she cannot speak on something that's already on the item. That's not in the that's not in the open meeting laws or anything like that. It's a, it's a rule that we have made and we've followed in the past, but it's just a rule that this board has made or, or has had in the past. My suggestion would be have this person speak and be done and move on. That'd be my okay. recommendation. A little bit of human decency, common sense, and logic. I did. I came to this meeting. I followed the rules. I can't. If if Christo, I'm, you're going to stop talking so I can talk. If I'm not, not I'm have this you is removed. my time. Robert's rules of order. You're not allowed to interrupt. I can the interrupt you. It's it, it, it's our it's the council president's meeting. It, leave it at that. And to the attorney, I, I guess I'm, I would like you to look at this because I witnessed this at the Board of Ed, which we're not supposed to talk about. But um, it, it got to the point of the law that he talks about where they went to our police chief and it was like confirmed from what I understood that when a speaker is speaking for his six minutes, he is not supposed to be interrupted. And, and I don't care if you're the president of the United States or, or a council president, you know, if he determines that what he said, um, you know, what happened here was it, the resident now is upset, right? Obviously outside, he feels his rights, rights have been violated. Um, if we do get sued, I assume you're not gonna defend us for free. You know, so the whole thing is here because we couldn't sit here and listen for six minutes. It was only six minutes. I can listen to a baby crying for six minutes. Uh, my suggestion would be have this person speak and be done and move on. That'd be my okay. recommendation. Thank All you right. so much. Go ahead. I'm gonna start over three minutes. I would like to address some information that you might find of interest. The Mojave County Zoning Ordinance Section 25, page 59 regarding special development or SD zone classification states. The zoning proposal must be acceptable to the commission and recommended to the board. I also have obtained documentation written and distributed by the developers of the Lakebound project, which state their true plans. They state their objective to build 500 man cave RV sites contrary to the 180 submitted on the zoning application. They state their concert venue capacity of 20,000 people, not a small venue by any means, Ron Gold. You know, my, my ancestors fought in the revolution. And I guarantee you that my ancestors that got captured by the Tories and was darn near hung, did not do it so an oppressive government could come and tell him what to do. Because we need liberty, we need to expand liberty, and we need to take liberty uh, into our own hands. They state plans to establish exclusive VIP rights to the boat launch in our town at the nearby Topox 66, which would all but eliminate our local access to the river. They falsely state that sewer infrastructure is already in place. They anticipate the completion of the concert venue and initial man caves within one year from a direct result of the six years that they have spent fostering relationships with all the Mojave County government and reviewing agencies. And to top it all off, on official state letterhead, Representative Leo Biasucci applauds the developers and highlights tax and investment incentives in a blatant PR attempt while conveniently omitting his personal financial involvement in the Lakebound project. The 
These documents prove that the concerns of the citizens of Golden Shores and Topak have not been exaggerated by any means and that they need to be heard and addressed. And anyone involved in trying to push this obscene plan on our community to get rich or advance their political careers will be called out and they will be held accountable. Thank you for letting me speak. Thank you, ma'am. Joy Bancroft. You are the representatives of the people of Mojave County. And since in America, government works for the people and not the other way around.